Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Proxify here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon XG Next Gen Nuzlocke. And in the previous episode, guys, we went to Pyrite Town, we actually beated Commander XO, we finally were able to head into Finax City, and uh, also too, guys, we also went to the Railgam Tower. Off recording, I actually did pick up some of the other items that were around Railgam Tower. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything at the Railgam Tower at this point in time, but we will be heading there uh, later on down the road. But we did make it back here to Fennac, and unfortunately, guys, uh, I was trying to record out uh, a part of my video, which I was trying to do, and that was actually going and battle uh, two of the Cypher members, uh, because there is a part in this game where you actually have to go and pick up a music player and give it to um, one of the Cyphers, and uh, you will be able to read the mayor's note uh, doing so uh, in that one house. But for some strange reason, my controller was glitching out like crazy, as you guys remember uh, back in uh, episode two, uh, because of uh, the whole... Uh, woozy situation when uh, when uh, uh, when woozy actually did die uh, from my controller glitching out like crazy and it happened again for the second time I don't know why is with this dolphin emulator but anyways um, everything has been taken care of now uh, my controller is fully able to move around and whatnot so we're all good um, but also too guys I'm going to do a quick team recap just so that if you guys didn't miss on out in the last episode uh, I will show that off to you guys right now so I did do some uh, some off record grinding as well, of course. Um, I just battled out a few other trainers and whatnot. So you guys are going to be probably seeing uh, some other different levels around my uh, around my Pokemon uh, throughout uh, throughout that time when my controller glitched out like crazy. I don't know. Uh, it, it's not too much of a big deal, but. Anyways, we have Nimbus out here, who's level 31 with Dazzling Gleam, Dragon Breast, Sting, and Roost. We also have Dumbo, who's level 22 with Play Rough, Bulldoze, Mud Slap, and Ice Shard. We also have Electric, who's also level 22 with uh, Shadow Pulse, Charge Beam, Nuzzle, and Hidden Power Ice, which that's really nice. Um, we also have Marlin, who's uh, level 29, that has Headbutt, Bull Beam, Water Pulse, uh, I mean, not Water Pulse, Waterfall, and Reflect. And that is a brand new move, of course, that uh, I did teach on the Marlin in the previous episode, so that's really nice. And we also, too, have Mudkip that now is learning uh, Shadow Slay and Water Pulse, Yawn, and Mud Shot, so that's really good. We also have Morrison, who's at level 25 with Mock Punch, Aerial Ace, will -Wiss, and Bulk Up. And Mock Punch is Morrison's brand new move, and that is everybody on the team. I'm actually going to switch out here with Dumbo and Marlin, just so that Nimbus and Marlin can uh, take care of this stuff. And before I go and do anything else, uh, there was a scene here that you guys didn't miss out. And this is where all the Justies are going to be starting to spawn out like crazy. So there's one Justy over there. There's like a few other Justies uh, around the other different uh, areas around this place. And I'm pretty sure I don't think we can escape, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, thank God. Because I would at least like to buy some super potions along the way here. Um, I think we can actually just go and head on into uh, Mount Battle, and I think we can actually buy some uh, Hyper Potions there. I don't know if we can actually go and buy out uh, different potions, but I would like to go and see, because we're running low on potions, because uh, those two Cypher Battles that I did um, when my controller was glitching out were pretty crazy, guys, I have to say. I thank God, unfortunately, I did capture the other two Shadow Pokemon. Uh, it was both a Granbull and a Magmar, so you guys will be seeing that in my PC box if I ever do lose out a Pokemon. Uh, so that's the coupon exchange place, but you should actually have a mart in here, right? Nope. Okay, so I guess I have to go back to a gate village. Alright, well that's fine by me. But I love Mount Battle's music, it's so nice. Any type of music in Pokemon XD is really cool, is really, uh, is really nice. I like, I like the whole entire music of this game. I wish there was like a way where you can fix out the Xbox 360 controller on a Dolphin emulator. I don't know how how you can actually do that, but if you guys know anything about Dolphin emulators, because this is the first time that I'm actually using an emulator uh, with an actual game console itself, so uh, like on on a playing this on a laptop. So if anybody has any ideas on how to like fix an Xbox 360 controller uh, with the Dolphin emulator, that'd be uh, that'd be pretty nice. Because I think I already got it to somewhat, uh, to somewhat, uh, good now, uh, because, uh, you have to refresh the, the controller, and I think that's what a lot of people have been saying already, uh, throughout, uh, throughout me looking up on Google. Uh, let me just, uh, head over here to the Pokemart as well. Let's 
So let me just go and do that. Oh, and also too, guys, sorry about the layout. Uh, I totally forgot about Torchic uh, still being on the layout. Um, unfortunately, uh, I totally blew past my mind about the whole combustion evolution thing. Oh, wow, we can actually finally buy Great Balls. Awesome. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Sweet, sweet. Uh, let's just buy out 10 of these guys. So now we actually have 17 Super Potions now, which that's not too shabby there. But let me tell you guys, in this version of Pokemon XG, uh, uh, XG Next Gen, um, things are going to start getting a lot more crazier than what it has normally has to, uh, what it has normally uh, been uh, so far, which is going to start becoming very crazy. And let me tell you guys, there's going to be more deaths than that than you'll be seeing on, on this uh, on this Nuzlocke. This is like like Renegade Platinum uh, type of type of stuff going on here. Uh, so we can go and talk to the different justies here because uh, our team is basically fully healed. We already got everything going on. So let's go and talk to our first justie out here. You're too uh, young a kid to understand this, but women they like uh, snooty kind of cool guys. So I figured by impersonating justie, I'd be uh, ho uh, homing beaking to the ladies, but. But, uh, there we go. We got ourselves the, uh, purple, um, the purple guy. The, uh, Cypher P on purple. Now, I'm pretty sure we actually did ca uh, catch his Pokemon. I think we actually caught almost all of his, uh, all of their Pokemon. All the different, uh, Power Ranger ones. Oh, well, this is simple enough for us. Swab Blue, I think it's just only a, just a dragon, right? You're not a dragon fairy, I don't think. So I'm gonna go out for that. I'm gonna go out for a water. No, I can't go for a waterfall. I have to set up a reflect. This is all you, Nimbus. This guy is all dragon. Now we're gonna set up a reflect just so that Otaria can still be alive for this fight. Nice. Going out for a peck. Alrighty. That doesn't really do anything, man. And a body slam. Oh, no. I hate body slam in, in this type of generation because you will always get paralyzed. I don't know why. It's just been a, a very annoying thing. All right, so let's go. Another dragon breast. That should be able to knock out the swab blue now. Thank you. Now, I don't know if we actually get anything if we battle every single Justy, but, um... We already got this uh, Shadow Pokemon already, so we don't have to worry about this. My god, another Body Slam? And now I'm paralyzed. Uh, so let's just go for a Headbutt now. Nice. So unfortunately, I have to do uh, the old school way, and that is uh, by healing up my Pokemon through the PC box. Because unfortunately, in Fenac City, there is no Nurse Joy type person around here. And we have to wait until once everything is uh, is all clear here in uh, Fenac City. But that's fine. I'll just do it the, the PC box way instead. Which I gotta say, doing uh, healing up your Pokemon in the PC box actually goes a lot quicker than uh, healing up your Pokemon at, at the actual Nurse Joy uh, uh, healing, uh, like going into the actual uh, Pokemon Center and healing up your Pokemon from there. Okay, so they're just gonna start dropping like battle CDs and stuff. Okay. Nice, my kit can now be purified, so that is one thing that we can do in this episode. Because I was uh, wanting to do some purifications in this episode as well, because we do have Electric and Mudkip around here. So yeah, as you guys can probably tell, there is no Nurse Joy, so we have to go and just do it the good old old school way. So let me just uh, bring up Nimbus. We're going to heal this thing back up to normal. Now let me just switch you around. There we go. Awesome. Now, um, we should be able to now head into the actual Coliseum, I think, right? 
Because I think that old guy is now officially out of the way, I think. Or I think we have to go and battle all the justies, I think, first. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I guess we have to go and battle all the justies first. Alright. Now, uh, this is a good way to, uh, reclaim all the other Shadow Pokemon that you did miss out in the, uh, Cypher Lab if you didn't have any Pokeballs. So it's very nice to have. Now, there should be an exit way out of here, I think, right? And there should be a Justy somewhere around here. Uh, there's another Justy right over here, though. Yeah, I'm Justy. I'm the toughest of the tough. And I'm and the most uh, popular guy at Finac besides. And in other words, I look just like Justy even without putting on a disguise. Whoa. No, you're not. You're not even Justy. You're just the blue cipher. And I already got your Pokemon already. We got Tentacool and Poliwag. Okay, I think we should be alright here. This should be easy enough for Marlin because we have uh, Storm Drain, so... Very nice. Let's go for a Headbutt, we'll also go for a Dragon... Uh, well... I don't know if Daz would leave a super effective on both of these guys, so I'm not too sure. It's a critical, not bad. And wow, that almost knocked out the polyway. Oh no, here we go again. Oh, I'm gonna get paralyzed, don't I? Oh, okay, never mind. All good. Wow. Okay, this is actually gonna go out very well here. So let's just do one more of these, and let's do just a Dazzle Gleam. Now this is gonna knock out both of these two Pokemon, and we're literally good. So I haven't really seen any other Justice here except for um, except for those two, but I'm pretty sure I think there is actually one Justice that's going to be in the actual um, uh, gym type stadium in here in Finac, because there's like two different type of gym type areas. You have like the Coliseum and you also have Justice Gym, and uh, I think that's where one of the Justice is going to be as well. So there we go. So we knocked out the Blue Cipher. But yeah, if you already got, uh, but if you already captured all all the all the shadow Pokemon from all the different uh, Power Ranger ciphers, um, you could just uh, battle these guys to just get some extra uh, EXP. Because in the vanilla version of Pokemon XD, it's very hard to grind up all your Pokemon, so it's so it's very good to just battle everybody just so they can get all that free EXP without having to uh, lose all of it. Uh, right, can't do that, but we can head down here. This is going to be another Justy area. Oh man, what's going on here? Welcome to the Prestige Precip Center, uh, or as everyone says, the Pre-Gym. Oh, you have a letter from the mayor for Justy, is that right? Oh, I hear a little voice whispering to me. Whoa, got a cipher. And that voice tells me to take that letter from you. Jeez, man. I think... None of these people are actually even real people. I think they're all just ciphers around here. So we got a Swallow and a Knocked Owl. Jeez. Maybe this is a good time to switch out into, uh, into Electric, I think. But I think we should be alright anyways. We'll go for that. We'll go for a Dragon Breath, I guess. Okay, well, thank God I wasn't going for the knocked out anyways. Going out for a facade, though. Jeez. At least it's not an uh, uh, inv uh, invader. Or endeavor, I mean. Alright, here we go in waterfall. That should be able to knock out the swallow out here. Nice. Uh, rest in peace, my Taylo. My avian dude. The very first death on Pokemon XG, though. Got destroyed by a Shuppet. With, uh, with hidden power electric. Oh my god, and we got our ourselves a Pidgeot. Alright, not too shabby there. Uh, let's just go for a Dragon Breath, or we could go for a Sig. 
Let's just go for a single the Pidgeot. Oh gosh, Shadow Sky again. Now this move is very annoying. Uh, Shadow Sky. And I'm pretty sure that actually does recoil damage. It's kind of like hail. So let's just go for a waterfall. That should do it. some sort of damage on Knockdown. And you have Roost. Really? Why do you have Roost? Ooh, what the flash of light strikes Marlin? Oh, so we're all gonna get injured here. Uh, so let's set uh, up for a waterfall. We'll go out for a drag. Uh, no, we'll go for a dragon breath. So nice. So Pidgeot's still asleep, so we don't have to worry about that. All we have to do right now is just worry about the Knocked Owl. Milo, I wish I was able to capture you. You can't actually get a Knocked Owl in this game, in the uh, in the original Pokemon XD game. Which I did use uh, Milo back in my original Let's Play. Okay, you are going to be very annoying, dude. Yeah, so let's just go lightning strike everybody. Ugh. Okay, so I need to go out for another waterfall. And I need to go out for a great ball. I'm going to try to capture this Pidgeot from full, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it. <laughs> because I think Pidgeot has the same exact catch rate in any other type of Pokemon game, so I'm pretty sure this thing is going to bust on out. <laughs> yep. No, and I had to wake up, dude. Shadow Storm. Jeez. What the heck? Alright. That is not good, guys. We just lost Nimbus. And we may probably lose our whole team. Oh my god, not setting up for Reflect. Oh, that is going to be even, be even worse. I think in this episode, guys, I think we are literally done here. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that we could do. Like, I could probably go for Electrike and probably do a Charge Beam, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to do literally zero. It's going to do nothing. I could go for Nuzzle. Another Shadow Storm? That's going to probably knock out Marlin out here, too. Yep. Wow, this is just great, dude. And Octal is just going to heal itself back up. We're just going to have a lot of fun here. Look at that, man. Stupid Reflect. Yeah, it's game over, guys. Oh, uh, We made it this far, and we... I knew that Pokemon XG next gen was going to be super difficult after this part. I made it this far, though. <sighs> it sucks. Yeah, this Shadow Storm is gonna literally kill me. This Pidgeot, man. Yeah, oh, come on, man. Well, I'm sorry, guys. It seems like we are done here. Oh. Well, I think this is actually going to be the Pokemon that's going to be killing me, I think. Oh. All right. Uh, let's just go out for a play rough. And go for a charge beam. Yeah, this shot storm is literally super devastating.
There's no other way. I would have heal stalled like crazy, even though that I have super potions, but it'll literally be useless. There's no other way. At least Noctowl could recoil himself. That would be very awesome. Ugh. Come on. Okay, how about I do this? If Noctowl keeps on going for takedown, he can recoil himself and he can uh, basically kill himself right here, right now. I'll just heal up Dumbo and we'll see what goes on. I'll do one quick heal. Alright, I'm going to throw my snake ball. I'm pretty sure Pidgeot's not going to be able to get captured here. Come on. I would at least like to have you on the team, Pidgeot. No, it's done. Just going to go for another Shadow Storm. This is going to absolutely demolish me out here. Wow. Literally kills me from full. Yeah, Shadow Storm is way too insane of a move. I'm done. Oh my god, Mudkip, you're still alive. Okay. I'm gonna risk this. How about if I throw one more Great Ball at this thing? I will laugh if... If Noctowl goes for a Brave Bird and misses, and I capture this Pidgeot, that would be amazing. No, I won't. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Kappa. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, there was just no way. Even if I did heal stall, I think I'm pretty sure I still would have died. And wow, and it kicks us all the way back to the HQ. Alright, well, we're literally dead, guys. Oh man, I just wanted to play more of Pokemon XG. Uh, well, unfortunately, guys, this is going to be the finale of Pokemon XG Nuzlocke. Oh my god. Both a Mill Tank and also a, a Shadow Storm Pidgeot. I oh my lord. I'm pretty sure if I actually did survive that, it would start getting more gruesome after that. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever want to try out this game for yourself, it's super fun. Just have to make sure that uh, you are going to be playing in like Renegade Platinum or any of those other type of ROM hack games that are going to be absolutely devastating. Um, but yeah, this game plays almost exactly like uh, like Renegade Platinum. Uh, but this time you're actually playing with, um, yeah, but you, but you are playing with, uh, uh, with the Gen 6 meta format. So you are playing with, with, uh, with different stats of different Pokemon. So you have to just remember that, like, uh, Altaria is not even going to be, like, just a normal dragon. It's going to be a dragon and fly, uh, dragon and fairy. But yeah, oh man, that sucks. Even if I did, uh, even if I still continued out this video, guys, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't even do that because, like, I need a full six team, uh, just so that I can continue on with this game. Uh, because right now, since I battled every single trainer, I cannot repeat, uh, those matches anymore. Um, I could do it for, um, for a gate village, but that would take me so much time out of my, out of my day, and I don't really want to do that, so, uh... Don't forget to comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Jeez, man. Alright, so, uh, our next Nuzlocke is going to be Oras. Um, I'm gonna try and do all that stuff and whatnot and randomize out Oras, and, uh, hopefully that, that Nuzlocke can be somewhat, <laughs> be nice to me here, and is not gonna have any type of Renegade Platinum type stuff going on, so, um, I'll see you guys then, and, and peace.